Yo, what up, my name is Derek. Today I'm going to show you guys what the best custom ISO file for Windows 10 is for gaming. Now, on my screen, I have my browser um, and I have Revision. I have the Nexus OS website open. I have Ghost Spectre and then I also have GG OS. Now, there's a ton of different ones you can use. There's Fox OS and there's a bunch of others you can do. There's probably hundreds of custom ISO files, but these are the four mainstream ones that I've seen. Uh, the, these three are mainstream. This one's not so mainstream. I found this one off of a um, a post in their discords. I'll also post their discords down below as well to join those because some of them you need to join for to download them. Some of them are better for um, improvement. The only thing that doesn't, the only discord that doesn't exist is Ghost Spectres. Okay. Now let's talk about each one of these. I'm going to talk about the ups and downs for each one. I have a notes on my phone that I, I recorded. So I have processes, the RAM used, the latency that I tested, Fortnite FPS, and then Valorant FPS. The Fortnite test, I did a benchmark code that was um, for the, in creative. And then for Valorant, I went into practice. I turned on the bots and I just looked straight at the bots for a minute. Each test that I did here, by the way, was for a minute. So latency was for a minute and the FPS tests were for a minute. So keep that in mind. Um, and another thing too is each of them were a brand new install on my computer. And I also, uh, I had a brand new install on my computer. I installed MSI Afterburner and I did a, I didn't do an overclock. I just did a fan configuration and that's it. Um, the other thing that I did was I made sure my drivers were stripped. So I used uh, 461.92. I'll actually check to right now to make sure that is the right version. I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, 461.92. I used NV Slimmer to slim it down. Um, a couple other things I downloaded, like my browser, you know, Epic Games and stuff like that. And I also put in a uh, power plan. Now, some of these come with their own uh, power plan. So I know Revision has a power plan. Um, Nexus has a power plan. Uh, Ghost Spectre, I don't think, has a power plan. GGOS has a power plan. Okay. So those are the f those those are that right. Now, before I talk about my statistics that I wrote down, I want to talk about what these come with and what they don't come with. So right away, revision is pretty much a straight Windows 10 copy, just better performance and uh, less debloated and stuff like that. Um, it doesn't have like a toolbox like Nexus OS does and Ghost Spectre. Um, GGOS also doesn't have a toolbox or anything like that. The toolbox aren't really needed. They're kind of just for like if you want some features enabled on your Windows or if you want something disabled, or if you want to download programs through Toolbox instead of going into your browser and doing that, that's pretty much what these are. You can even click on these and, and look at these. Now, Nexus OS website is full of ads, so like I can't, sometimes I click on this and it like opens up an ad. It didn't do it this time, um, but you can see the tweaks. You can have this whole thing right here. So for just keep in mind, Nexus OS, it's, um, it's not great for me. Um, when I used it, I had a ton of problems. Sorry if I just hit my microphone, but um, Nexus has a lot of problems. For me, at least it did. It has these um, Windows problems. So what happened when I installed it is I clicked on like, I went to add a password to my account and it broke my whole Windows for like 10 minutes. I had to wait 10 minutes and then it came back like in a second. And then it, I tried to do it again, froze again. And then it was kind of just broken after that. So I said, I'm not going to use this. I tried to download a different one. I used the game edition here. And I also tried the 21H1. Those two both, both broke. Uh, Ghost Spectre. Ghost Spectre is mainstream, bro. It's it, on YouTube. It's all over the place. It isn't that good. It's really not that good. Um, a lot of people use it. Some people don't. Some people um, think they have malware. None of these have malware. Just want to keep in mind. Uh, GGOS is pretty self-explanatory. Now, this is the GitLab website, so that is, you can't actually download the ISO from here. You have to join their Discord to do that. I think you have to go to their GGOS here, and then just click on their uh, Discord link right here. I'll have everything linked down in the description so you don't have to go through too much. Okay. Now, let's talk about the statistics that I wrote down, okay? So, revision. I had 56 processes when I... Um, I downloaded it straight from, you know, downloading it, right? I had 1.6 gigabytes of RAM used. In my latency test, I used latency mod, mon, and I did, I had 2.79 and 1.08. Fortnite, I had 155 FPS average. For Valorant, I had 193. 
Now for Ghost Spectre, I had 108 processes, 1.4 gigabytes of RAM. My latency, which is kind of weird how this one was so bad, it was at 6.44 and 2.88. Now keep in mind, I had nothing open when I had when I did these tests. I had no Epic Games Launcher. I didn't have Discord open, Spotify. I didn't have those installed. I just had Epic Games installed, um, and that was it. And I had everything closed. The only thing that was open was latency mod. Um, Fortnite, I had 159 FPS, and Valorant had 192. Now, Nexus, I had 51 processes. I had 1.3 gigabytes of RAM. Now, Nexus felt good. When I had it installed, it felt good, but then I had those problems. Uh, latency was 2.73 and 1.07. And Fortnite, it was 160, uh, and then Valorant was 195. Now, GGOS was the best out of all of these. My, F my uh, not FPS, my processes was 49. My gigabytes was 1.0 gigabytes, 1.0 gigabytes of RAM, like on the dot. My... Uh, latency was 2.52 and 0 0.96. My Fortnite was 155 FPS and my Valorant was 198. So that's the best one. Now, I use revision, revision right now just because uh, GGOS, I, I can't remember what I had. I think I had a problem with it. Um, No, I just wanted I just want higher FPS because revision was a little better with the FPS. For, um, for Fortnite, at least it just felt better when I played it. Uh, I didn't really test too much with GGOS in, like, in games. I just tested those two games. Um, and that's pretty much it. So GGOS, like I said, was the best one of all of them. You can use whichever one you want to use um, because it really doesn't matter. As long as your Windows, like, if you have a straight Windows install and it's deep loaded, um, you're going to get an improve of FPS right away after deep loading your, your Windows. But I recommend downloading one of these, these four. There's a bunch of other ones you can find, like I said. Um, but these are the four that I've found, and I've tested them. Um, it sucked testing these. I've tested them for the last like week. It sucks testing these. It takes forever, especially if you have if you have problems and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm done testing. I'm not testing any more OSs ever. Once you guys find like a really really good one you want me to test, then maybe I'll test it out. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much the end of the video. I wanted to make this video before I do like any Fortnite FPS boost guide videos because or any FPS boost guide videos because. Um, I'm going to recommend this video first to watch this and then I'll talk about and then those guys can finish the, all the videos that they're going to be watching. That's why I want to make this video now. But uh, anyways, hope you guys like the video, like and subscribe and uh, peace out.